TV umpire to director, we have a player review. Can we rock and roll, please? Hello and welcome to Bits and Pieces, the friendliest cricket podcast. That's right, this is the friendliest cricket podcast, the one that invites a mediocre team to its home turf, programs the weather to suit their style of play, wins the toss, but graciously lets the opposition have the best of the conditions and gives them a handicap of one full innings. Because, as they say, greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his friends. I am Tony, the veritable Vijay Sethupati from 96 in a rom-com with New Zealand, where all I get is the pain and no payoff. And I have to grin through it all like a retard. Seriously, why the fuck does Vijay Sethupati get so many good roles? Anyway, and uh, joining me, he can give you insights into cricket and most surprisingly on gardening. And no, gardening is not an allusion to our Ashwin's fielding. The one thing that he can't give you is fucks because he's run out of them long ago. Not many people know that while he goes by Iman Pandey to fit the quotidian corporate complex, his real name was as interesting as the person himself. His birth certificate actually records his name as one man pandemonium. The true OG. Say hi, Iman. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> also with us, out of the frying pan day and into the fire, the unassuming silver fox will clean out your ears like a Mumbai ear cleaner. He will wax eloquent in your ear and leave you wondering if oral sex is a word. He will make love to your ear with a steel pin and it's quite likely he'll steal your pen. <laughs> Say hi, uh, Prashant DP. Hi, Tony. Great to be here. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, chip chop, chip chop, what color do you choose? It's uh, El Chopernos, uh, the man who combines the sublime and the ridiculous, the pub rhyme and the calculus, the man who hates dating carbon light life forms but loves carbon dating because it's from an older vintage. He fetishes the black and white, but uh, yeah, he but fetishes the black color. and white. <laughs> he fetishes the black and white, but he's more gray than you realize. Say hi, Chops. Hey. Amazing to get a Tony intro after so long. I think uh, we used to say when uh, Tony used to do intros more leg- regularly that the pod should be ended exactly when Tony's <laughs> intro ended because nothing after that is going to be useful. And once again, Tony has this, this is the, the spirit task. that India took to this test match against New Zealand. <laughs> 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 the first few minutes. Guys, what the fuck? Like, we took one full day to process this and come back. And I still don't get it. I have no answers. What was that? My God. What an abysmal performance. Yeah, I think it was a great performance. (laughs) (laughs) Elaborate, Ra. No, so we we gave New Zealand the land of sheep shaggers (laughs) um, chances to win the match. Then we said, mm. no, no, we'll not let you win. Then we said, okay, you win. Did you notice how everything was falling in place for New Zealand? Like the moment we walk into bat, the ball will start swinging. It will start raining. Covers will come on. And the moment mm. New Zealand comes into bat, it will be dry as fuck. Like it, it cannot get drier than this. Only maybe Ahmedabad is more dry than this. But ha, matlab, we gave New Zealand everything possible. We And then one you know, suddenly... We said, you know, no, we, we won't let New Zealand win. And, you know, Pant and our good friend, Mr. Sarfu, tried to play something. But then he, eventually we realized that we are not karte hai. New Zealand. Ko jita dete hai. So I would say we played really well. We made a match out of it, out of nowhere, because we were initially thinking ki we will not make a match out of it. Suddenly, mm. we, suddenly we made a match out of it. And then suddenly we said, let's go. So I, I think we controlled the outcome. Like control... Se, dekha jai, toh, we were winning this. Like, we controlled the match completely. <laughs> but Iman, do you, do you see Jaysha's hand in this to make test cricket more interesting or something? Is there to something save deeper? test cricket, use the right maybe, words. Maybe, maybe it was yeah. not his hand though. Hmm. <laughs> something is there. Yeah. I think this... <laughs> Yes, but before we get into it, uh, Prashant and Chops, I feel like it is uh, worth reminding our listeners, everything that we said on the last episode turned complete 180. Okay, we said Pakistan are fucking useless and they won. We said, how the fuck can you drop Babar, the guy who replaced him, scored a century, I think. We said, what the fuck is New Zealand? Why are they such minos? They came and rolled us, guys. We said, Gautam Gambir, what a great coach. And he's had a bigger... Badge of shame to deal with than Ravi Shastri. 
So almost everything that we mentioned on the last episode has topsy turvied. Therefore, say hi to the BNP Jinx. Well done. Uh, Chab, uh, if you Jinx. were if you were the HR manager for the Indian cricket team, what would you be telling them after this performance? <laughs> I think I would be I would be uh, putting Iman uh, into the room and asking Iman to do a town hall uh, because. <laughs> <laughs> but the only but the only requirement is that the town hall must be completed in tamil, tamil. because the one person the one person <laughs> who thinks he understands other languages uh-huh. but only understands this one language is ashana oh. and uh, my god what a brilliant performance from ashana in this test yeah. <laughs> it is it is quite amazing to uh, like see how he got carted around in that first innings and i think multiple people have mentioned how he's quite toothless when there is no help from the wicket and wow what a bowling performance and then obviously with the bat uh, again quite useless those of you who follow l chopanos on twitter you know that he's a very sweet guy very nice guy but there is something about ashwin fielding that brings out the beast in him okay like there is a there is a string like a thread of chops Chops' message is to do with Ashwin. <laughs> Just yeah. nipping to the absolute extreme. No, no, but uh, PDP, you uh, who were, I think, two episodes ago talking about watching New Zealand. Hey, wait, yeah, uh, before yeah. that, before you self-flagellate, <laughs> with the yeah. exception of that Gautam Gambhir thing, okay, we had mm. very, very valid reasons for saying all the things that we did. Uh, Pakistan was shit, okay. It yeah. did seem bizarre to drop... Uh, a batter who's averaging mid 40s and Babar. Babar. that's not his no- that's not his real name so what is it <laughs> antega king antega <laughs> king <laughs> and i as someone who saw new zealand in goal i can assure you that they were shit okay like they were absolute shit like there is there are no words to convey how shit they were okay like mm. Mm. And like uh, at a mm. at a certain point, I mean, all oh, the stuff man. we say about Glenn Phillips, he was actually their best bowler. Okay, and nothing was happening. You know, their swing bowlers are not swinging the ball. Their batsmen are not scoring runs. They were oh. dropping catches everywhere, and here they're taking like fucking one-handed blinders. So, <laughs> yeah. so I, I have an alternate theory. You know how post uh, the recent elections in India, everyone was uh, accusing. you know news channels of fudging the exit polls so they could make huh. a killing in the stock market huh. right mm. if you remember and rewind to episode 141 you will remember that prashant and nitin came across some shady characters in the sri lanka stadium oh, yeah. and then they made us predict everything so i think you guys have made a killing basically in the betting market at the last week because who the fuck <laughs> has put a bet on new zealand beating huh. india i think huh. for the third ever time in their history yeah. <laughs> of pakistan coming back and out doing baseball with whatever they were doing huh. prashant huh. tell us uh, how how does it feel to own a fucking mansion down in bandra have you bought <laughs> shahrukh khan's flat what what no. has happened here <laughs> no i haven't but uh, i mean uh, this is a hindenburg level shot if only i had done it unfortunately i didn't <laughs> Game of um, glorious uncertainties, except the BNP jinx is bound to strike. So, yeah, yeah. that's about yeah. it. <laughs> While I think we have jinxed or whatever, the world has suddenly changed upside down, right? But if you mm. think there is some pattern to this, right? One is obviously the BNP jinx that's there for sure. The other thing is, Kal, abhi tak, uh, you know, Britishers gave the name baseball, and you know they played random cricket, and they and they and they gave it some branding, right? Kya baseball hai, making cricket interesting. बेसबॉल के कॉन्सेप्ट में दिस इज गौतम गंभीर आई थिंक फर्स्ट रियल टेस्ट सीरीज तो लेट्स कॉल दिस इज गोटी बॉल राइट गोटी गोटी बॉल लेट्स से वी कॉल इट गोटी बॉल एंड गोटी बॉल इज ऑल्सो यू नो दैट्स ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट यू नो अ न्यू ब्रांड ऑफ क्रिकेट जस्ट टू मेक इट इंटरेस्टिंग लाइक टेस्ट क्रिकेट इज डाइंग जॉब that way right if you if you if you see achanak says of 46 matlab if you look at the indian team's batting performance in the first innings unko to feeling hi nahi aaya matlab wo aaya aur bola ki match nahi khelne ka aaj chala gaya 
तो ये भी तो एक मतलब गोटी हो गया सबका तो वो भी तो एक ब्रांड ऑफ क्रिकेट होता है ना कि फिर से सेकंड इनिंग्स में ऐसा होगा बैट अब पूरा खेलूंगा मैं अगेन नया गोटी तो गोटी भी गोटी खेल रहा है वो लाइक समझ ही नहीं आएगा देख द अनप्रेडिक्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द वे इन द वे इन व्हिच द इंडियन टीम इज गोइंग टू ऑपरेट आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट इज गोइंग टू मेक इट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जैसे आई आई समहाउ फील कि बीजी टीम में वी विल विन वन मैच वेरी बैडली वी विल डिफीट ऑस्ट्रेलिया लाइक नो वन बिजनेस सेकंड मैच वी लूज लाइक मतलब या तो इनिंग्स डिफीट इस वे या फिर इनिंग्स डिफीट इस साइड तो टॉस के ऊपर डिपेंड हो जाएगा पूरा कहानी कि हम बैटिंग कर रहे हैं कि हम बॉलिंग कर रहे हैं अगर हम बैटिंग कर रहे हैं तो हम इनिंग्स डिफिट से हारेंगे अगर हम बॉलिंग कर रहे हैं तो हम इनिंग्स डिफिट दे सकते हैं बॉस तो <laughs> ऐसा कुछ स्ट्रैटेजी मुझे लग रहा है कि गोटी भाई का समझना पड़ेगा बट आई थिंक देर इज जनरली समथिंग एट प्ले बिकॉज नथिंग देर इज नो साइंटिफिक एक्टिविटी विच कैन एक्सप्लेन वट वी वे डूंग solid batters a home pitch which was getting... solid getting solid ka nahi pata sedated to rehte hain wo dega ki ha bolo uske baad very very worn out pitch sixth day seventh day pitch taking turn right from the beginning and two spinners in the at the absolute peak of their powers right spinners This is the वो नॉमन एंड साजिद नॉमन वाले तो 70 का उसको उम्र 70 नहीं है उसको देखिए तो उसका उसका एज जो है वो भी स्पिन कर रहा है ना मतलब ही इज लाइक टर्निंग यंग इट्स स्पिनिंग द अदर वे आर्म बॉल टाइप सो ही प्ले ही ही एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द पाकिस्तान टीम दे एक्चुअली प्लेड लाइक इंडिया अनप्रेडिक्टेबल 46 ऑल आउट से 462 ऑल हां and one bowler is suddenly taking wickets 100 score to defend but still creating opportunities with pace spinners not getting a chance at all etc so india played like pakistan that is the grand unifying theory of ah. what happened in the last week pakistan ah. playing like india and india playing like pakistan did, did you say grand unifying theory what <laughs> ah <laughs> grand unifying theory of but, uh, asian cricket only only one indian batter had a really good uh, first innings and that was shubman gill yeah <laughs> <laughs> with his sprain <laughs> didn't and and you know why shubman gill didn't play this test right sandy ji while he has not been able to come on the pod has given us an insight into that bolo bolo pura zyada ho gaya tha usko because because there is an audio clip of the fabulous wives of bollywood yeah. mm-hmm. even tindi Ooh. hopping is it Yeah. He he did what that professor in what triple IT quota asked people to not do. Not do. Which is basically he went to Tinder Garden with the fabulous wives of Bollywood. None of them were able to take his name. The complete country, the complete team forgot his name, and that's why he could not find his name in the eleven, and that is why he was out. And I mean, great result for him. Now he's going to come back in the next test. किसकी जगह पे आएगा वो हु इज रि या हु इज रिप्लेसिंग या ब्रेक ब्रेक टोनी इज हार्ट अगेन ब्रेक टोनी इज हार्ट अगेन आई थिंक ही इज गोइंग टू रिप्लेस केएल राहुल देयर इज नो अदर पर्सन ही कैन रिप्लेस आई थिंक पंत वुड प्ले द नेक्स्ट मैच आह बट पंत इफ पंत डजंट प्ले देन आई थिंक जुरेल हैज अर्न द राइट टू कम राइट बैक इन या नो बट केएल कैन कीप नो सी लाइक दिस होल पंत सिनेरियो देयर इन इंडिया स्लो देयर इज Only, only Pant Pant will subscribe to this theory. <laughs> Pant also can't keep it India, guys. Come on, like, please. Yeah, Kale can't keep. Yeah, नहीं कर सकता। अब aerodynamics उसका hair जो है ना वो गलत कर दे रहा है उसको। कैसे focus करें? अब you have to lift the aerodynamics. Ball, rise the ball. As a ball is leaving, you fucking also rise as a keeper. वो भुजड़ी का उधर रह जाएगा। वो नहीं कर। रोज़ तो पहले बाल काटना है। Like Sunil Anna has to do something about it. This... Hey, Iman, no. uh, you just said uh, Sunil Shetty has to do something, and I believe as a product manager, you would know this that uh, there is something called uh, end shitification of an app that happens when post its uh, main streaming, then it becomes just a terrible experience. So, I believe yeah. Kail Rahul has had an end shitification where to post his marriage, <laughs> he's like lost all his sheet. What what is the product marriage with theory around Kail Rahul? <laughs> हाँ मतलब कॉम्प्लेसेंसी आ चुका है उसमें ना ही इज गॉटन करेक्ट 
अच्छा निकल रहा है जिंदगी यार इट्स लाइक इफ यू गो एंड आस्क देम क्या चल रहा है बढ़िया चल रहा है भाई क्या है मस्त है अरे भाई क्या चल रहा है मस्त एकदम भाई यहां वहां घूमने चिल कर रहे हैं इधर उधर जहां मन करे प्यार मोहब्बत यहां वहां सुंदर पार्क में घूम रहा है वो मस्त चिल दे रहा है वो बढ़िया मुझे लग रहा है कि उसको हम ना मतलब आई थिंक अगेन दिस गोस बैक टू बीसीसीआई सिलेक्शन कमेटी एंड देम देम नॉट रीडिंग अ प्लेयर्स माइंड अभी केएल को इतना लोड नहीं चाहिए जिंदगी में यार हम जोर जबरदस्ती का उसको टी20 भी खेलो बेंच वो ओडीआई भी खेलो आईपीएल खेलो विकेट कीपिंग भी करो हां मैच नहीं करने का उसको उतना कुछ उसको घर बैठ के सीखने का है एक दूसरे बस उसको वही करना है घर बैठ के सीखना है शादी वादी हुआ है मजे ले रहा है यार वो आदमी अभी तक कैसी चल रहा है जिंदगी सुखा सुखा अभी मस्त जिंदगी जी रहा है यार क्या है तुम सुनी लंडा के डर के मारे सुखा बैठा था वो शादी वादी करके लाइसेंस आ गया उसको मस्ती में है जिंदगी उसकी टाइम तो वो ना उसको कीपिंग करवा रहे हो फील्डिंग करवा रहे हो कुछ कुछ कर रहा है इतना नहीं चाहिए उसको बॉस व्हाट डू यू वांट टू बॉस यार उसके साथ उसको बैंगलोर क्या करना था बैंगलोर में टेस्ट मैच खेल रहे कोई बात नहीं वो आता घूम के जाता यार वो आता स्टैंड स्टैंड में बैठता बीवी बच्चे बीवी बच्चे तो नहीं बीवी के साथ तो चिल करता फिर घर में जाके तो ना सा सिकाई वगाई यार ये सब करना था उसको तुम लोगों ने चार दिन से उसकी पूरी लगड़ाई कर दी पूरी मैच में मैं जो कैसे खेलेगा वो आदमी वो आदमी करेगा क्या अभी उसको करने का टाइम आया ये खेलने का टाइम नहीं है यार खेलने का टाइम नहीं खेलने का टाइम ये ये उम्र खेलने का नहीं है ब्रो वो खेल लिया लाइफ में काफी at the end of this test match he should have touched something else first of all <laughs> <laughs> allowed to touch the pitch yaar ye galat hai short touch karna tha usko it pitch ko touch karna tha come on yaar kel kel to yaar bechara kya karega yaar well past his prime time prime time tony tony as a resident kl super fan your thoughts yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I told you, you know, like he gets hard done by poor fellow. It's just that like his face looks like that, right? Like it just exudes no confidence. Like Iman's version of Kail Rahul is probably the most confident Kail Rahul has ever appeared <laughs> in his entire life. Like I think it was someone on our group who said, "Did you see Kail Rahul's face after he dropped that catch?" And my counter was, "Have you seen Kail Rahul's face at all points in time?" He looks like. just because he looks like that guys come on i feel like this is a very sort of uh, <laughs> i i test theory he just looks like a he just looks that way man it is no, not no finish that sentence what. he looks like a what what <laughs> it's said in tamil oh, yeah. <laughs> actually ideal for new zealand he looks sheepish all the time right? like if you look at him see like in in school and all no there are these like uh really naughty children who will copy tests and like but they're confident they'll never get caught and then there is this poor guy who like can't bear to even think about copying but he can see these kids are copying and But... on his face there is this like very very nervous expression and he is the one who gets caught by the teacher and hmm. like strip search for chits and all that i think something <laughs> like that has happened in uh, kl rahul's life the deep entrenched trauma where he always looks guilty man poor fellow like <laughs> ड्रॉप था लाइक जस्ट टाइंग इट बैक टू द कैच ड्रॉप वो कैच हां ठीक है केएल का कैच था ठीक है और कोहली ने ना पहले तो मूव मूवमेंट तो किया था ऐसा नहीं क्लिप दिया था उसको केएल को केएल का हो गया भाई जो कोहली आ रहा है मेरी कान फाड़ देगा अगर मैं ये ड्रॉप बैक दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ओह कर दिया क्या सुन लिया केएल का चेहरा देख के तुमको लगेगा कि देयर इज नो वे कोहली को भी रॉन्ग राइट एग्जैक्टली हां उसने केल की तरफ देखा केल इज लाइक माफ कर दो सरकार प्लीज एंड क्या कर रहा तू ये वो उसके चेहरे से दिख रहा कि पर घुसड़ी के तरफ को नहीं आता तो कट ले यहां से टाइप पर हां मतलब नो सो आई आई हैव लॉन्ग हैड दिस थ्योरी राइट दैट इन इंडिया एज अ यंगर ब्रदर द यंगर ब्रदर्स आर द वन हु टर्न्स आउट टर्न आउट टू बी बोलर्स बिकॉज़ द एल्डर ब्रदर्स आर लाइक हाउ यू बोल यू बोल लाइक फॉर 20 इयर्स एंड देन देन दे गो हो I feel like Kale Rahul has had some elder brother character in his life who is always like 
basically like take this case and that, that's exactly what the trauma is reliving with kohli and that man pandey himself right <laughs> 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 Even yeah. how he, how well he knows his psyche. <laughs> but uh, but I feel like Tony is hit upon a very nice template, you know, which is that KL Rahul is that boy who comes, studies, sits in front bench, uh, notices yeah. other people copying, but gets uh, strip Correct. search for chits. True. Ah, uh, in this classroom parallel, who would <laughs> our Ashwin be? <laughs> oh man! Exam comes up here. <laughs> I, in this test match at least i don't know if you guys have seen this uh, movie called tanneer matandiranga which is uh, like they in 11th standard no suddenly a new crop of children will come into school okay and nobody knows how well who is performing there will be this guy who suddenly goes to first bench like is enthusiastic raises his hands like reminds teacher of test paper and all till the first midterm exam comes and you realize like this guy has like <laughs> failed every subject that was our ashwin in this particular and he like hey so much seed you were putting there what like 3 out of 25 you got please go sit in the back bench <laughs> poor fellow didn't even get a ball in the second innings man like <laughs> even over. as like not the greatest over. our ashwin fan i felt really bad no over one cheers the second innings <laughs> Hey, that that was Manoj Prabhakar. Those two words are Manoj Prabhakar. Yeah, I mean, when Chopra has focused on Ashwin's fielding and chasing the ball, so in the ground, I was keenly observing the way Ashwin <laughs> runs behind the ball. So, you have to think about this thing. Like, and this is something which you have to give to Ashwin. His science and math knowledge is good. He does what he does with the ball. कभी बॉल के सीधा डायरेक्टली ऐसे पीछे नहीं भागता है वो देखना उन्होंने एक एंगल में बॉल को रखता है कि दूर से पूरा बॉल को देख पाऊंगा ताकि मैं पूरा बॉल का सरकमफ्रेंस देख पाऊं कि बेंचो कैसे मेरे से दूर जा रहा है वो और देख जाता है वो यानी कि एक होता है बॉल सामने है तुम तुम पीछे भाग रहे हो ताकि तुम डिस्टेंस कम करो ना वो उस पे हाइपोटेन्यूज लगा रहा है कि बेंचो मैं उसको हाइपोटेन्यूज भाई हाइपोटेन्यूज नहीं देखना है भाई तेरे को पास पास में जूती है उसके भाई तो अगर आज तेरा एंगल में थीटा लगा के जो देख रहा है तो ठीक है थीटा एंगल में भाग रहा है लूडो जल्दी भागेगा तो सीधा भागना तो एंगल में क्यों भाग रहा है व्हाट द फक आर यू ट्राइंग टू डू इट एंड यू को देखते हो उसी एंगल में बाय द ब्यूटी ऑफ अश्विन रन राइट कि वो थीटा एंगल को कभी भी कम नहीं करता है मुझे कंट करते करते बॉल के पास पहुंचेगा घंटा नहीं मैं उसी थीटा में जाकर बॉल को लेकर व्हेन द बॉल मीट्स द बाउंड्रीज व्हेन आई मेक द बॉल because that's where the pitas collide <laughs> bro man mag mein kuch to match chalta hai isko wo ek na wo ek wo bachpan ka wo protractor leke ghumta hoga na dimag mein ki bhai to isi angle mein bhagunga main iske beech mein no so that's the oh, thing man. i think there is this joke na that uh, in the geometry box that we used to get uh, hmm. and all the other instruments had a use and like every kid divider. used to use <laughs> ashwin is the kid who tries to use the divider <laughs> <laughs> he is calculating What? some angle using the divider and you know trying to figure out something but by that time the ball has reached the boundary and also he is the skill even though he gets 3 out of 25 in the in the exam and during the you know uh, session he is obviously tried to proclaim that he is the best and uh, you know he's he's uh, happy that there is a better student than him but he is glad that he is this himself okay. student but Guys, I think but, you're uh, mistaken. But, he's, but he's the kid who also asked for the thread in the exam. Do you know why? <laughs> Supplementary <laughs> answer sheet. Because, because I have the sheets. <laughs> yes, because I have the sheets. <laughs> can I get some extras? Can I get a thread, please? Because of ah, oh, man. Because Full I have the sheets. No, but I have the sheets. 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 <laughs> guys but what you don't get is ashwin was not a science student he was an art student you know how when you are trying to draw parallel lines in the art thing they will meet at the horizon like parallel lines ah uh-huh. so the problem is there's a boundary that is coming in between he is running at an angle such that if it were to go till the horizon he will meet the ball so he is an artist you guys are like confusing him with like a math or science student this no, is the problem so- I I I will say this though. So, 
we we get a lot of uh, ple- we used to get a lot of pleasure from finding fault with ashwin even when he had had a good game of cricket right and i, <laughs> I like no like i mean that what do you mean why used to no 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 i'm saying so after the chepok test for example against bangladesh we i mean he had a great test and we still took his case and we had a lot of fun oh, and i always i always thought that the day when he actually does badly we'll actually feel bad for him and i realize that's not true mm. like this is way more fun <laughs> why yeah <laughs> no i, I yeah, think ashna uh-huh. ash ashwin is is the goat like uh, in in mutton biryani for us like <laughs> <laughs> you know so every performance after every bad performance there is there are some people who are going to feel good about you because you know you are still the champion that you are and there are some people who are going to feel bad about you because you've lost it etc and perhaps the two should be in equal measure the problem is with ashwin that even after a bad performance he feels so good about himself <laughs> that multiple such podcasts are needed to actually balance <laughs> the skills oh, there is that man like you you put him on an interview today he will make some 50 excuses about you know how the pitch was like this and the rain was like this and you know chennai should have kaveri and not bangalore etc <laughs> which is why which is why my bowling was like this <laughs> and i tried to bowl with the manoj prabhakar actually <laughs> guys no but i think after this it's gotten so bad that uh, they have actually summoned washington sundar to the test team as a 16th okay. member of the washington side, yeah. sundar what the yeah. fuck like <laughs> Uh, there are at least two other sundars in india who should make the test team before washington sundar <laughs> like what kind of ridiculous uh, ness is this like come on even i wouldn't disash na that much there. like please washington sundar not a test player i'm sorry hey, the two guys are uh, are milan and mithun right milan and mithun <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I'm sure Nitu is going to listen to this podcast and come in defense of uh, Ashwin and say something like, "Oh, he's a safe catcher and something useless fellow." So, uh, what's going to happen in the next test? Pune, <laughs> like the worst fucking ground. We are just like going to defeat them with bad hospitality because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think New Zealand's all-time lowest score in test cricket is 26. If anything less than 20, if anything more than 24 they score then shame. Curators shame have failed. <laughs> Curators have failed. Full we should defend the elections in Maharashtra if that happens. <laughs> But guys, uh, I think uh, a word on the guy who had the perfect home test match was Rachin Ravindra. Uh, pretty incredible performance with the bat at least right? rain plus chinna swami rain plus chinna swami you should explain that rach this is not our whatsapp group <laughs> <laughs> yeah so basically there are these theories floating around which have some some people have said it's true some people have said it's false nobody has asked his parents that's the most important thing but like other people have been speculating whether he is named after rahul dravid and sachin tendulkar because you know obviously india heritage india genes etc so parents were big fan of cricket etc but after this test match uh, they finally went up to his parents and asked him you know your son batted so well uh, at chinna swami and even though it was a test match riddled with rain he did so well seam movement swing movement bumrah this that whatever so they said no actually is the the name that we kept was basically rain plus chinna swami so every time there is a rainfall situation in chinna swami stadium he is going to bat well so that's the full story oh there will be a lot of one fine night there was raining in bangalore and earthquake jaisa kuch aaya tha bahut tez lightning hua tha aur rachin paida ho gaya tha ki hum se galat ho gaya tha aisa बादल गरज गया था 
Boy Swami. Please. No, but ironically, I, no, 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 but ironically, the only other batsman with this kind of spurious origin story is KL Rahul. I had that exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I was like, here also KL Rahul got selected. KL Rahul. <laughs> so, KL Rahul. Iman, do you know the story of how KL Rahul was named? There are two stories. Two stories. Kaun sa wala batao? So, the, the, uh, you, you, you tell one. So the okay, so the first one was that uh, K L Rahul's dad was a big fan of Sunny G, Correct. and you and used to tuck in his shirt all the time. Oh, and, yeah. and that's uh, not how he was born. That's not. But <laughs> but uh, apparently <laughs> thought that Sunny G's son's name was Rahul, mm. it, even though it was Rohan. So. But he thought it was Rahul and therefore wanted to name his son after Sunny Ji's son. That is story Correct. number one. Correct. Story Rahul. number two is that his mom was a Shah Rukh Khan fan. And hmm. uh, obviously he was Rahul in a number of his movies. And therefore she decided to name hmm. her son Rahul. But yeah, zero interesting. Tha, yeah. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> ah, guys, yeah. I am thinking now huh. that you know we know this theory. Hmm. Huh. Maybe there is a secret thing that's been happening in Indian cricket all this while. Huh. Maybe Rahul Dravid's real father is Sunil Gavaskar. Unsung hero. What the fuck? You will which hear it why, only. Maybe yes. which is the Sunny G is expert in converting ones into twos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Do you know, there, there is a third theory, is that this huh? is true, that K.L. Rahul's uh, father was a professor in NIT Suratkal. Uh-huh. And actually, Suratkal has Rahul in it. So, I think he just named him after the oh, college. Oh, fuck. Maje, maje. Suratkal, T-A-K-S, I suppose. <laughs> सूरत कल से राहुल निकल रहे हैं सनी गावस्कर से दो दो बच्चे निकल रहे हैं मजे मजे इसकी बागा मजे 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 मैट नो पीडीपी ब्रिंग ब्रिंग इट बैक हाँ टॉक अबाउट प्लीज टॉक अबाउट रचिंस ग्रेट परफॉर्मेंस अवार्ड सो आई आई मीन एक्चुअली इट वाज नितिन आई मीन वंस नितिन पॉइंटेड आउट इट वाज वेरी वेरी ऑब्वियस आई मी Uh, Mike Hussey, uh, in the way he bats, the way he triggers, the way he plays, uh, and such good touch. Even in that last innings, I think he was the only New Zealand batter who looked reasonably assured. Yeah, yeah. Devon Conway played horribly, and you know, Young also had a lot of luck. But this guy was assured from ball one, basically. Uh, there was never any doubt. Ah, मतलब आप obviously technically जो strong है ही और बेटा उसने जो पेला अश्विन को ना मजा आ गया यार <laughs> अश्विन के एक एक छेद भर दिए मार मार के यार ऐसा <laughs> नहीं नहीं था ग्राउंड का जाए उसको छक्का नहीं दिया उसने मिनिमम एक एक छक्का दे रहा था और जहां बॉलिंग कर अश्विन मैच के बीच में लेग स्पिनर बन गया और पेला, और पेला उसको अश्विन लिटरल लेग स्पिन करने लग गया फट गई उसको मेरे ऑफ स्पिन तो कुछ हो नहीं रहा है पिला रहा हूं मैं दिन भर मतलब अश्विन का चाल बदल गया लेकिन ओवर के बाद ना अश्विन ठीक से चल नहीं पा रहा था इतना पड़ा उसको इतना पड़ा भर दिया उसको मार मार जस्ट टू जस्ट टू रिएट्रेट व्हाट यू से आर अश्विन फिगर्स इन द फर्स्ट इनिंग 16 ओवर्स वन मेड इन 1 फॉर 94 इकोनॉमी रेट ऑफ 5.9 कम ऑन पहला लाइक हाउ डिड हाउ डिड दैट मेड इन ओवर हैपन यार मतलब क्या आई डोंट नो वो कॉनवे कॉनवे उस उस शुरुआत का कॉनवे उसको थोड़ा देख लिया था एक दो बारी फिर इफ यू लुक एट इट और वो 16 ओवर्स में से लास्ट का 10 ओवर्स वो वो स्पेल स्पेल में जब आया था ना 10 ओवर्स में आया था वो yeah. 10 ओवर में उसको 80 85 रन स्पीड गए थे भाई इतना मारा ना मतलब देख के लग रहा था बेटा इसको ले जाओ स्ट्रेचर पे यार अश्विन को स्ट्रेचर पे बिठा दिया मार मार के और पेला बॉस या जस्ट सो दैट दिस इज नॉट अबाउट स्पैंकिंग अश्विन अलोन राइट जस्ट अ वर्ड ऑन द टेस्ट इटसेल्फ इवन व्हेन इंडिया वाज 46 ऑल आउट it didn't feel like they were out of the game right because such has been india's dominance especially in yeah. india and how bad new zealand has been 
generally as prashant will testify that he thought there was a chance and actually like there were several chances when for instance india had new zealand at 233 for 7 right and then yes. they let them get away to 400 plus right and even in india's second innings i believe uh, we were 408 for 3 yep. before collapsing to 462 yep. right so it's not even like it was just like one session where india let this get away there were multiple chances right and, yep. and realistically if you were setting a target of 200 i think like the fourth innings would have been slightly different thoughts guys like where, where did this all go wrong no but yep. i mean i i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to like beat this drum too much but just to go back to what iman was saying there was a time <laughs> beat the drum okay just to go back to what iman was saying there was a time when ashwin was like a beast uh, bowling to left handers right mm. like i mean he got sangakkar out for fun and you got yeah. get chris gail out for fun and you saw this young left hander treating him with absolute comfort and almost disdain so i think i think ashwin may be nearing the end guys we need to find new material for sure on yeah, this I mean, I mean, that's okay no like come on like all said and done you have five bowlers you don't need to bowl ashwin no if he's no, going for so no my my point is that there was a time when the minute a left hander came ah, out you would bring ashwin on everyone fades no come on that's not see if you are the captain and there is a match situation in which you have five world class bowlers and one is having an off day i don't yeah. think you put the blame on him no come but on. my okay no no I'm, my 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 only point is that i okay so bowling to left handers was his strength right so typically yeah. when a when a player fades they still hold on to their strength is what i'm trying to yeah. say no i think everyone's allowed a couple of off days guys my point That's is true. if you are at 233 for 7 and you are not bowling out the opposition before 400 the blame should lie with the captain no like you had kuldeep and jadeja oh, for whatever oh. this thing this bumrah and this siraj yeah. who can occasionally ball three good bo- balls like <laughs> come on the way southy and all were hitting was ridiculous like what was happening didn't make any sense and rohit basically goes completely to lose the moment कोई अटैक करता है ना उसको फिर दिमाग आउट हो जाता है वो फिर स्लिप में आके बैठ रहता है बड़ा भाव खाके तो सोच सोचता ही नहीं है बैठ सोचना ही उसका दिमाग ही बंद हो जाता है रोहित का सोचते रहे तेरे की पील गए हम तो चेहरा बना के बैठा रहेगा एनीवे तो कमिंग बैक टू द पॉइंट व्हिच वाज अराउंड वी लॉस्ट दोस टू अपॉर्चुनिटीज राइट इफ यू थिंक ऑफ इट अगेन लाइक पहला वाला चलो ठीक है फ्लूक से चल गया सऊदी ने मार दिया रविंद्र ने मार दिया एंड बाय द वे ठीक है and then the weather comes in by the way new zealand always had the luck when it yeah. came to weather ki yaar us din jab humne jab new zealand ko 233 for 7 bhi kiya tha na the pitch was dry and it was sunny like fuck in bangalore that time when new zealand was batting to so, new zealand ko kabhi bhi weather ka wo wala part nahi mila mm-hmm. and agar humko bhi milta and hence i'm saying 50 more runs in second innings which, which basically would have taken our batting into the fifth day the new zealand ko 150 160 chases karna rehta post lunch batting bhi karna rehta wo nahi kar pata mushkil ho jata uske liye because then the strategy would have been very different you know rain is imminent ye ek do baje ke baad barish aane wala hai how do you attack do you not attack things would have been very different yeah. matlab saudi wala chhodo ek bar ek liye fluke lag gaya we were completely hopeless whatever but hmm. even if you scored 50 more runs in the second innings which was very obvious in the it was easy it was not not difficult like rahul literally gave his wicket away ashwin and jadeja we expect them to score 50 runs together wo nahi yeah. banaye unhone what about rohit sharma's dismissal <laughs> are wo phir se alas mein usko pata hi nahi chala yaar guys main kasam matlab wo aise hi khada reh gaya like he didn't even make an attempt ki ball ja ke lag bhi like the moment when batters are batting and jab ball जब थोड़ा लूज कनेक्शन होता है ना एवरी बैट्समैन अंडरस्टैंड्स कि बॉल थोड़ा लूज गया एंड 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 देयर इज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ द बॉल रोलिंग बैक रोहित ऐसे ही खड़ा रहा मोस्ट बैट्समैन क्या करता है ना फट से पीछे देखता है पैर से मार देता है या व्हाटएवर बैट से मार देता है हाथ से नहीं पकड़ता है अह अंडरस्टैंड 
the mm. chops as someone who follows domestic cricket very closely and is hooked on to the sheffield shield in the mornings these days yeah uh, what, what where did india lose the match was it just in the first innings or much more than that no i think uh, it was i know it was uh, almost felt like repeat of uh, the odi world cup final and that's what uh, i think you had alluded to on the group to watch india bowl so well in that fourth innings of the match without much luck was very very painful but i mean that spell that siraj and bumrah uh, bowled right up at the beginning was quite amazing to watch um, and some of the balls were just rising up to very very uncomfortable heights for the uh, for the new zealand batters so i mean i would agree with iman that uh, i think that second new ball which came in uh, rishabh pant hit that big six and after that we lost what seven wickets for 60 runs just like complete complete harakiri we committed at that stage maybe if we had 50 more runs um, and and you know ashwin would not have bowled with that manush <laughs> romaker <actually. laughs> i don't know why i i hate uh. it so much but basically if we had some more runs i think yeah. definitely india were win in with a chance on that last day and uh, we could have we could have bowled out new zealand so yeah. i wouldn't put it so much on the first innings because the conditions were probably even better than what new zealand would find at home uh, for the kind of bowling <laughs> yeah. attack they had what the fuck ajas patel didn't have to even turn up at all but yeah, uh, yeah the second innings collapse hurt us so much more especially after we had created a possibility of a win for us yeah no it's just to put things in perspective right india is still very much top of the wtc table and if they win the next 3 out of their remaining 7 matches india should still make the final quite comfortably right it shows you how how dominant india has been around the world uh, and i don't think anyone on this panel is predicting anything other than to india wins out of the next two new zealand yes. test matches pune and mumbai yeah pdp for sure uh, okay. i so yeah this is a blip i think so but uh, i mean <laughs> you with the i mean like you were discussing the other day uh, we thought adelaide was a blip um mm. <laughs> <laughs> another blip uh, it's like a yeah. glitch that we keep coming Correct. up with every now yeah. and then But, there's Adelaide. Uh, there was the New Zealand semi-final. There was the World Cup <laughs> semi-final. World Cup final this time. There was a couple of tests at least in South Africa. There, <laughs> it's just WTC finals against yeah. New Zealand. Yeah, it keeps happening. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Hey, also, uh, I think what lips. happened was one of the things that Rohit said in the press conference reminded me very eerily of the 2019 semi-final. He said, except the first two three hours, we played very well. <laughs> In the in that semi final, I think Kohli was uh, absolutely hammered for saying that. Except those forty five minutes we played. Really. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Rohit is more cuddly, da. As a result of this match, India have not slipped in the WTC all that much, but New, New Zealand have like notionally moved up to fourth or some shit like that. But in completely pointless WTC uh, test match, uh, Pakistan played England guys and and won. Uh, quick thought thoughts on what happened there after Brook cricket and Ben Stokes come back and mm-hmm. that one Ben Stokes dismissal that actually encapsulated <laughs> sword bass. What looks? Hey, like. I have got the picture. <laughs> I I downloaded the picture just for this podcast. <laughs> <It's coming. laughs> yeah. So this is like uh, Kingdom this is, Valley. Beautiful. No no no, this is actually even more dramatic. So if you've seen Ramayan and Mahabharat in the nineties, there would be these arrows that would fly across the screen. Yeah, this is exactly like that. <laughs> is that the bat on the top left corner? Yeah, it That's is. Not... Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh my god! He Shast- had to spot the spot the ball contest, no? When we were like uh, yeah, on cable oh, yeah. television, <laughs> spot uh-huh. the bat spot contest the bat. with the bat stones. Yeah. Uh, but I I do want to talk about Shaki Bal Hasan, guys. I feel I oh, felt yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, go for it. Wow, that's like a that's like a there are there is apparently a group of people called Shakibians who have been <laughs> trying to. <laughs> 
<laughs> is this are we still in abhishek chopra's uh, t20 league team no 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 darkash kibits <laughs> so just to quickly catch just to quickly catch you up uh, so he was part of he was part of the political party that has been uh, deposed deposed in bangladesh in in mm. in their coup and mm. uh, he has been tried for murder along with 108 other oh, he's been found guilty of murder along with 108 other people mm. and uh, he basically fears for his safety the bangladesh cricket board said you're free to come and play cricket and all but we can't guarantee you your safety and uh, so there was a bit of to and fro your safety as in that you won't be arrested because you are no that you won't get lynched i mean that oh you God. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, you've been timed out <laughs> better make sure your helmet and chin strap are intact yeah. so i mean the sad the sad thing is that bangladesh's greatest ever cricketer is not going to get a proper send off uh, i think his last test was in india where obviously they got hammered and uh, well wow, man he has a choice between a farewell in international cricket and a farewell in life no no, no, no i just think to no, forgo no. <laughs> farewell in international no 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 cricket. i think no, no. smart choice like <laughs> no, of course <laughs> given the trade offs of course so uh, he it, so apparently he hardly ever spends time in bangladesh anymore he is i think based mostly in the us where he plays in the in the cricket league over there the t20 league over there and uh, it's the i think it's it's fair to say that at least uh it's, it's reasonable to say that we won't see him again in test cricket which is sad because he is like clearly the best ever cricketer that bangladesh has produced and yeah. world class all around man you know who is most sad about this set of developments is jose coaco who is now <laughs> like fuck i can't go anywhere near bangladesh the this is I, not I even like a doppelganger that i have discovered right like it's like what can you see? are you yeah. serious yeah. Shit. Yeah. no way oh wow that picture is quite yeah. something that is uncanny man yes <laughs> of course like Ram- i said ramesh suresh a, yeah it is exactly so yeah poor yeah. jose you can never forget but uh, uh, but yeah. uh, but uh, i mean it didn't end there there were apparently uh, scuffles protests um and uh, almost riot like scenes between the shakibians and uh, <laughs> what is it shakibian yeah, between oh, shakibian yeah shakibians and uh, members of the the now ruling party in bangladesh um, but i it looks like shakib is not going to play that test match against uh, play any test looks cricket like, against looks like yeah, yeah he is not playing obviously ha huh? He's not. He's not even going to play the next one. So, yeah, it's. I think he. I think he's done. By the way, it's not like Bangladesh are doing great uh, at <laughs> home. So they've had like their own roller coaster where they've beaten Pakistan in Pakistan and they're now getting hammered by South Africa in Bangladesh. So mm. it's bonkers for them yep. as well. So they've been rolled out for hundred and six as we speak, right? Yeah. Uh, but, but to round off Tony's yeah. weekend of misery. Fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. black <laughs> it's all black guys like what a black week yeah. uh the new zealand women won the t20 world cup in dubai and sharjah so good luck to them congratulations good to them good luck to them they already won right eh? what <laughs> <laughs> good luck good luck. <laughs> good luck to all of them <laughs> this was the other thing that we jinxed last week where murli sat gopal said day oh, are you crazy like you think anyone except australia <laughs> will win the women's world, world cup yeah. promptly next third in semi final they got knocked out but the bnc jinx is alive and well <laughs> but i'm saying again that's a reasonable prediction to make man i mean <laughs> yeah, you you know the only person who has been free of the bnp jinx is kl rahul <laughs> <laughs> this is super fun you know seriously we think they know they play in bowl they na fir jinx kadi dete hai match khatam karte hai i think it's because we're taking the wrong name he was never meant to be called kl rahul kl rohan kl rohan 
Yes, will Kale Rohan play the next match? <laughs> no, but to complete Tony's analogy, he is the kid who comes well prepared for the exam, finds other people with chits in their pocket. <laughs> He's about to enter the exam hall and then finds that he has left his hall ticket at home. That is KL Rahul. Next Christmas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, I, I actually don't think he'll be dropped, to be honest. Okay, you think Sarfraj will be dropped, right? Uh, it's a good question, man. Like, stuff. I don't know. How do you decide these things? Are you kidding me, dude? You're choosing between Sarfraz and KL Rahul after the game that Sarfraz had. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm in Pune. KLS. Surprise, every alternate day, he'll have a jacket. Chubby, what do you think? Kale gets the axe. Huh? Kale gets the chop. <laughs> I don't see any other option, to be honest. Mm-hmm. That's the only option. I don't think Kale can keep. Uh, and so, Jurel will have to come in for Punt. And uh, yeah, Kale gets dropped for mm-hmm. Kale Jurel, to come back. Jurel, the keeping was exceptional. This. This so match. good, so good, Exception. lovely, so good to watch. Oh, was it? Was it one ball of Bumra which like just yeah, Haan, or Siraj, which tha. like did a snake mm-hmm. thing and he somehow yep. stopped it? My God, yeah, beautiful. Thank you. And I think yep. Pant, by the way, um, us din bhi batting jab kar raha tha, uske pehle bhi aake he was practicing nets mein day three mein he was practicing. Boss, he he is still very, मतलब fragile hai abhi wo uska wo. Of course, like I don't think BGT mein. That's what I'm saying. KL Rahul is needed, guys. Come on. BGT में उससे तो होगा नहीं तो KL Rahul क्यों अच्छा बैटिंग करता है रोहन से should we drop Siraj for हाँ, मतलब three spinners agar hai Siraj khilayega there's no way Akash Deep is coming in but Siraj is nowhere our number two bowler by the way like there is a fully agree मतलब इतना बड़ा gap है ना Bumrah और उसके बीच में like I still think कल का match में the last match में if we had Shami instead of Bumrah sorry instead of oh. Siraj uh, speaking of encouraging things Mohammad Shami was apparently bowling at full tilt on the yes. sidelines in Bangalore, yes. which yeah. led Vikas to quip that there was at least one Indian bowler <laughs> bowling in full tilt in Bangalore. No, he was bowling full tilt. Yes. So yeah, I think uh, Shami is going to be back. He said he'll get in a couple of Ranji games before BGT. Hopefully yeah. that goes well. Well, 107 ka score chase karte we, we were only attacking from one end and Siraj was do, doing his best by not giving a boundary ball every over, right? His best is to chalk on the hunger. Imagine we get to Lungani. To be had, fair, it was a decent spell. I mean, at least the first few boss, hours. It is always like that. He is 70% like a go. He will never be an 85 90% guy. He 70% na, just pass kar gaya. playing in the Both average. Hai. But. And, uh, Sarfraz Khan, man, what a brilliant innings that was. Iman, hmm. were you guys at the stadium when uh, those two were batting? Pant huh. and Sarfraz? Yeah. How was it? Brilliant. Why is it? Is it? Joe A. Me Kila was. Like, Wessa A. Me Me. Why is he standing up? He doesn't move. Sarfraz doesn't move. He is standing like this. He does a forward press when the ball comes. Else, his movement is back. If the ball comes, he will do it. 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 New Zealand is bad. He will do it. He will do it. He will do it. कि मैं ये थर्ड मैन के बीच में किसी को लगा लूं वो उसी कॉम्बिनेशन में लोगों को कोच खिलवाड़ कर रहा है दे वर फोर वो लिटरली रनिंग अराउंड कि मैं कभी सामने खड़ा हो जा रहा है कभी बीच में खड़ा हो जा रहा है और कहीं जहां पे आदमी नहीं है वहीं पे वो शॉट लगा रहा है इट वाज क्रेजी टू सी द वे ही वाज ऑपरेटिंग एंड ही वाज ऑपरेटिंग एट विल विल कि यार तू कुछ भी कर मैं ऐसे ही खेलूंगा इट वाज फनी इट वाज द बहुत अमेज एंड देन द मोमेंट Ayaz Khan, Ayaz Patel came. Brother, he hit him with a sweep and hit him again. But he didn't want to do it. 
चक्के भी चक्के लगाया जा रहा था इट वॉज फैबुलस टू सी सरप्राइज प्ले डोमेस्टिक क्रिकेट but <laughs> we're talking about height no no i'm not i'm talking about his average and you know his scores and everything he was like he had like a ridiculous average i think somewhere in the 70s or 80s or something yeah correct and yet for some reason uh, he was not passing the eye test of certain selectors you know people are saying yeah he's getting runs in ranji it's but this no 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 Vamu. not warmed up okay but i'm saying that there are so many people who are saying yes he's scoring runs but it's only ranji and so when he finally gets his chance and he's not had a single bad game in the few opportunities that he's had it is just joyful to watch someone play test cricket and do well like that and the enthusiasm just the the fun of watching him send back rishabh pant like that i mean that was reminiscent of my son playing with his friends you know it was just fun to watch good to watch yeah <laughs> the meandad comparison the meandad comparison <laughs> yeah i think if if uh, surya was to somehow magically uh, able to play tests and then surya and sarfraz have a partnership it will so be like a, everything the a team the wicket the a team the a team one fellow will keep hitting it here the other fellow will keep so probably uh okay so pdb and chops throwing it to you uh, the next generation of batters look assured but who's coming in after ashwin who's the next big uh, spinner for india i think uh, these two guys are quite good whatever little i watched manav sathar and saranj jain are quite good uh, both of them at least look the part in terms of the skills they have and the technical stuff difficult to say how they'll go uh, you know and and i mean i think they would benefit from playing more first class cricket for sure but these two are the best bets other than that i think the so left term variety is something that sai kishor can bring in shams mulani uh, also i don't know shams mulani but i think shams mulani is probably past his best so i'm not sure if he's ever going to represent india but sai kishor looks like a yeah. promising guy i i just hope that this season like he he gives himself a chance to do well otherwise i've often felt that he's like doing random things etc even if he's not the captain that's fine because there is a real real chance of making it to the india team if uh, you know given how these two guys are going and it could be much sooner than than originally expected but i think more more immediately i think it will be great if kuldeep gets to play more games i mean yeah yeah he, i mean he bowled well in this game also uh, it's not even though uh yeah, new zealand scored a lot of runs he bowled decently mm-hmm. bowled well yeah no but i definitely think you know i i think need to make the point on the group that he needs more rhythm like he needs test match rhythm which can only happen if you he play, gets no? to play like yeah that's what he test yeah he test four test in series because yeah. otherwise you'll air drop him into some random test match in uh, australia and expect him to work miracles i don't think that's going to happen mm. interesting so our indecision is final okay on that note i think we've covered everything we wanted to or not the only thing we can't cover is uh, kl rahul's nether regions even with a fig leaf poor fellow is <laughs> uh, in trouble but other mm-hmm. on that note this has been episode 143 I love you you love me we are the best friends there can be this is the friendliest <laughs> cricket podcast signing off uh tony chops iman and prashant say bye guys bye see you bye bye, bye.